Hello, it's DocIT. Today I'm going to show you how to send logs from Spark application to Logstash using Logstash Login Connectors library. Link to the Moin repository you can find just below this video. So let's write some code. So first of all, we're gonna write a new appender for our log4g library with the two arguments. First, it is a host as a string and a port as an integer. This function is going to return a new log appender. So first of all, let's create a new log appender and set host and port. And don't forget to activate uh, these options. In the beginning of application, let's write a new root logger. We can get it from the log4g library just using a method get root logger. And then I'll add our appender with the uh, host and the port of our logstash application. For checking our code, I want to run a docker images with the Elasticsearch, Kibana and the logstash inside in it. For this, I'm using docker elk image. The link you can find just below the video. So using command docker compose up, I just ran or our images of the all three application as you can see on our screen. So I want to check if it's already run. Yes, it is. And then I'm going to check that there are no logs at all in the log stash and not even in the elastic search. So let's run our application. Here we are, and so right now let's go to the Elasticsearch and check our logs. But unfortunately we don't have even these logs on the screen, so what is the problem? The main problem that we don't have logs on our UI, it is that our log stash application is not configurable yet. To configure it, just go to the docker logstash bash and then to the config application. And then have a copy of the logstash sample configuration uh, and uh, name it logstash conf. And after this, uh, go and change a block in it. First of all, you have to change a block uh, in input. So instead of bit, using TCP and use the same port as our uh, application in the docker. For my application it is a port number 5000. And don't forget to restart our logstash application. Ok, just wait just a little bit for restarting our logstash application. Here we go. Ok, it's already restarted. There's no logs. And let's go to our application and run our code one more time. And before uh, running code, add tcp uh, before our uh, host name. And uh, here we are, we check one more time that there is no uh, logs into the Elasticsearch. And then let's go to the application and run it. So refresh the page. And uh, here we are. Right now, logs from the Spark are in the Elasticsearch and they've already been in the log stash. 